The violence and unrest in Ferguson has police agencies all across America questioning race relations in their communities and in Dallas. Fox Force James Rose tells us DA Craig Watkins announced a plan to strengthen ties between the community and the criminal justice system. This is an effort for us to build trust and uh, gain transparency. Dallas County DA Craig Watkins says sadly the announcement of this civil rights unit couldn't come at a better time. As the eyes of the nation are on Ferguson, Missouri, he wants to shore up the trust in Dallas County. In order for us to uh, continue to have the public's trust, we need them to believe that there is an independent investigative body that's not the police department where individuals think that they're going to protect their own. Uh, to allow us to make a determination if it was done right or if it was done wrong. Watkins says the Dallas Chief of Police and the Dallas County Sheriff are on board. He says he'll get the funding in October to hire a prosecutor and an investigator to independently look at all police shootings in the county. If something conflict, conflicts with how the police department has investigated it, yeah, it creates a huge problem. Yeah, they essentially become witnesses you know, in the cases that are prosecuting. Gary Redman, a lawyer for the firm that represents 52-year-old Bobby Bennett, who was shot last October, says an independent investigation by the DA's office would very likely cause a rift between rank-and-file officers, something police unions have already questioned. It creates a perception of distrust, you know, that the DA's office doesn't trust them to investigate these type cases. You know, if they don't trust them to investigate these type cases, Who's to say they trust him to, to investigate all the other cases? Dallas officer Cardin Spencer shot and wounded Bennett, claiming he lunged at him with a knife. Bennett had a knife, but video evidence showed Bennett was never aggressive. Spencer was fired and indicted by a grand jury. Redmond says there's already an independent agency on tap. They have the Texas Rangers to result, you know, to go to to investigate these type cases. Um, that's the way it's always been. That's the way that it should be. Texas Rangers are an independent agency. Uh, it's not wasting taxpayer money. Obviously, uh, they're not comfortable, comfortable with the fact that they're being scrutinized. Um, I think that as time moves forward, uh, they will get comfortable with the fact that you know, they're, they're going to be held to a certain standard.